the grill much better than their gourmet restaurant because I do doubles on some things. Tonight there's a beef with ribeye, pasta, spring vegetables, or lamb loin, and the buffet. Tuna. Mahi mahi. Looks good. Creme brulee. Got the tart. It's tonight. Let's see. It's a Bordeaux. Oh, a Bordeaux. Uh, we'll both have the white, the Bordeaux. The white white. Thank you. This restaurant is Nemo or The Grill. You can refer to it as either one. So what you do is you decide what entree you want and they bring it to you. And you go help yourself to the starter buffets or soup and then you go back up there again and get your dessert. And every night they have Caesar salad, Greek salad, a club sandwich with french fries, uh, Cajun spiced salmon, vegetarian burger, regular burger, a kebab. Uh, per ke you know, I wouldn't mind eating that one night, honest to God. And then there's always french fries, mashed potatoes, baked potato. Here is to our first Conant cruise dinner. August, today's August 17, 2022. Salute. I asked Steve to cut into his ribeye. Oh, it looks good, looks perfect. With the seasoned butter on top and we ordered mashed potatoes. I am so pooped. There's nothing easy about even getting on a cruise. There is always ice cream for lunch and dinner. This is a lava cake, chocolate lava cake with vanilla sauce. Look at that, what a nice surprise. It's our anniversary, September 1st. That what looks pretty yummy. Well, that looks absolutely delicious, but there's no way I can eat it now. I am stuffed to the gills. There is a menu for breakfast, and then you come help yourself. Steve's favorite chocolate croissants. Muffins, shortbread, there's always wine for breakfast. Fill a bowl of fruit and you'll take it to the table. There are scrambled eggs with cheese. Plain scrambled eggs. Plain, there's yogurts, cheeses. It's a usual breakfast. Salmon, eggs, Benedict for breakfast this morning. This is the main dining room. Tonight they have a gala dinner. You know, they serve champagne first and the gala dinner, which Steve and I will again eat in the grill because for their gala dinners, they serve every course at the same time in the restaurant, and I, it just takes forever. As you can tell, when it comes to dining, patience is not my strong point. To enter the restaurant, of course, they've got the hand sanitizers and the temperature, and the lunch, buffet, dessert. Oh, baba, rum, huge, huge pieces. A big array of different salads, but what I concentrated on was this, the scallops and the fish servite tzatziki. I'm just videoing the unusual. For example, tuna carpaccio. I'm going to have to try that tomorrow. That's Steve's pork kebab. Here are my fish and chips. It's haddock. Lots of tartar sauce. Even though naturally I was filled to the gills before lunch, did not need lunch, but I, baba arum is another one of my weaknesses. Have got to try it.
it was a captain's gala drink, so they're, now they have to set everything up. But this is what I'm going to have lobster with remoulade. If you've never sailed with a French before, they come with their long evening gowns, and the men have suits and ties. They really know how to dress. Hold on to Carrie. Clientele. I am going to pick out on the lobster, to, that's for sure, and they have venison with foie gras, spinach, and potatoes, Anna, and I also asked for small pieces of their onion quiche or tart with truffles. The first glass of red was uh, Merlot, and this is a Bordeaux, and the Bordeaux is much better. That is the Merlot and this is the Bordeaux. I there are about five anti-establishment tables filled down here who almost every night is a gorgeous sunset when you're at sea. This is duck liver and here is a venison. It's a one huge big bone of venison. I don't know. Here is my little onion quiche buried under a mountain of grass and some kind of foam. There are truffles in it. The venison is so good, but I'm showing you, it's one humongous bone. We have a great steward, Amir. We told him that we're early to bed. Here are our nighttime Macaroons and our laundry is back. This is why you stick with different cruise lines or or restaurants or credit cards. Free laundry. How great is that? And t-shirts on hangers. We never have t-shirts on hangers at home. Most of the people are on an all-day excursion, so the gastronomique restaurant is empty. There is pesto soup, of course the buffet. Oh, they've got Greek pastry. I like that. I like tiro pita. Braised beef tenderloin, a red mullet filet, but they've got mussels. I am for sure having mussels. Cremola. Too much. Dessert buffet. I will show you the buffet in a moment. And I'm going to have white wine. Very it's little. a Bordeaux. That's enough. Thank you. Yeah. Soups. But the only thing is, if I eat soup, I can't eat anything else. Red quinoa, watermelon, tomatoes, and feta cheese. Green beans, snow peas. That looks good. Hazelnut, almond, and orange. Well, everything looks good. It just appeals to me. This one is a Thai rice salad with sweet potato, mushroom, citrus. Always tzatziki. Make your own little salad here, knock yourself off. This is all the same every single day. The meats and the smoked fishes. And that is, is that maybe the panna cotta? Chocolate mousse back there. Vanilla eclair there and a fruit salad. They have bugs crawling all over their cheeses. I have to tell them that. Viewers, refresh me. Warren, was it you who said you like to try all the different tastes, specialties for each port or not? Somebody asked me, but here, as you can see, Ponantes had quite a few Greek dishes every day. Very crispy phyllo dough. It's delicious. This is for Cindy who loves soup and is, inquires or, and asks me to take pictures or to talk about it. This is the, the pesto soup. If I remember what the menu said, I think it, they're made with ouzo. The Mediterranean and Greece in particular is brutal in the summer. So take care. We do something different at four o'clock every day and today's chocolate. Chocolate milkshake. Chocolate brownies. And chocolate. Here is a chilled cucumber soup. 
vitello tomato, zucchini, toast with orange and hazelnuts, chocolate and blackcurrant textures, apricot and rosemary blanc manger, trapezian tart. Get here a cauliflower creamy soup. I really love creamy cauliflower. Mm. There are 14 people in the kitchen, which is not that many. I think the mains tonight, I don't remember if I said this before or not, is chicken supreme and sea bream. But I am going to have the gratinated cannelloni pasta with spinach and fresh goat cheese. That is the French toast with corn and hazelnuts. I love the tweeds. The apricot blanc. If you do not know what vitello tonato is, it's a tuna sauce that comes over slices of veal. We have breakfast and lunch in the gastronomique restaurant and dinner whenever possible here in the grill, which is my favorite. It's my happy spot on the Ponant ships. You don't have to dress formally. Men can wear shorts, Bermudas except no short shorts in any of the restaurants for dinner. Also, the menus are exactly the same in both restaurants. Here's Steve's chicken poulet and my cannelloni. I also have been eating very few salads because there's so many other wonderful items Got to get some veggies into me. I wanted to show you the cannelloni has salmon in it, very good salmon. These are the two desserts that I'm going to try, that French toast one and whatever that weird name was on this one with apricot. They were both delicious, but if I had to choose a favorite, it would have been the French toast and the tree with it, I could just eat a box of tweez as they would make me a box of tweez. That too, it's very apricot-y, foamy, good. It's hard to find a bad dessert on Ponant. A very warm good morning. Today is a sea day, which means Steve and I will spend the entire day eating. Somebody has to do it. I mean, if I didn't do it, you wouldn't see what all the different offers are for the food today. They also have a caviar tasting later on today, which they do on every Ponant cruise, and uh, the usual specials around 4 o'clock this afternoon. That's interesting. Their honey, this, or at least this brand of honey, comes from Corsica. Today is smoked salmon, toasted bagel, onions, and tomato. I almost always do white wine for lunch because it's so much easier to drink for me. Today's choices are onion soup, of course the buffet, a cheese pie, pike perch in an herb crust, beef tagliata. I had to look it up. It's slices of beef. Osaka. And there are always all the extras. Steve and I are going to do extras today. I'm going to have chickpea salad. I'm also having a Caesar salad for lunch. Salmon tartare. Uh, pistachio panna cotta, creme caramel, a peach, clafouti, there it is, apricot tart, French onion soup. This is today's special. I had to look it up online because I had absolutely no idea what tagliata was. Boneless piece of grilled beef served in slices. Plain, ordinary, but delicious chicken Caesar salad. I went for the floating island and the tart. Both delicious. Both yum. 
if you can see the line, it's because tonight is caviar night. Conat really does an excellent job. The champagne flows, the drinks flow, the wine flows, good food, didn't skimp on the caviar. Cindy, tonight is pumpkin. I love pumpkin soup. There's a pavlova tonight. I love pav what, what don't I like? Oh, those are red berries in a hibiscus gel. And that is a great looking nut tart. You can drink some lemon. Here is the back of Steve and his new Le Jacques Cartier shirt. Their app did not work today for showing what was for dinner, but there's rack of lamb, and I'm going to order these two shrimps, artichokes, and olives. No, thank you. Float away. Thank you so much. And a gorgeous rack of lamb. Hey, David. Guess what Steve's eating? Also had a sauvignon with champagne. That's a chocolate walnut tart. And that is rice pudding. I have to taste it. By the way, I like the sauvignon better than the nut tart. Two great plots for lunch today. They have calamari, sauteed calamari, and lamb loin. Both very yum. There's also a wild mushroom and chard pie, gazpacho, spaghetti. I like how they put the little Greek flag next to the Greek, the two Greek dishes. A lime cheesecake, tiramisu, vanilla pudding, that's a bread, bread pudding. The apricot tart and a wonderful looking lemon meringue pie or tart. Look at this wonderful octopus. If you don't know how they catch octopus or squid, they, the boats go out with lots of bright lights at night. And Squidward comes to the surface and looks at the lights. It's like, look at the pretty lights. <laughs> and voila, he is going to be dinner the next day. <laughs> so do not look at the lights. Isn't that yum? Lamb loin. And we're moving. We have Setsail from Montenegro. I'm going to try the lemon meringue pie and the bread pudding. I also did not care for the bread pudding. This is good. It's not great. Today is Greek dessert day. So that's baklava. And katafi. Can't see what it says. Tonight is a little extra Greek appetizers. Pita bread, olives. Bonjour. I'm just videoing. Thank you. Greek cheese and coconuts. Domates, the Greek stuffed grape leaves. Tonight, we are dining in the degustation. And there are two soups up here. Asparagus and a Thai consomme. For sure, I'm having the avocado with crab meat, mango, curry oil. I don't want sushi. And I'm going to order two entrees again. 
There is sweet and sour glazed pork belly with barley, risotto, sweet peppers, and they have seafood fettuccine. And for dessert, there's an apple Granny Smith shoe pastry with vanilla ice cream. I'm having that. And there's a selection of ice creams and sorbets, fruit salads. In the gastronomique restaurant, they serve you everything, and you can see gigantic pat of butter. So, well, it's not even a pat. It looks like a quarter of a stick. Rolls. You do not have to move your rear end from a chair. The amuse-bouche is carrot something or another. I ordered two starters for Steve. The sushi, and we both have the crab meat on avocado with mango. I asked for a small portion of the fettuccine with seafood and got a huge portion anyhow. And that's the pork belly. Pork belly. I do not care for the sea for the uh, fettuccine with seafood, but the pork belly is wonderful. In my opinion, a little gastronomic goes a long way. Feel free to weigh in, but to me, this is like a giant cream puff with ice cream. Not what I anticipated. I am giving the French toast a try today. Isn't it interesting how on every ship you can say French toast and everyone's is totally different? Neither one of us are very enthused over the lunch menu. Well, potato and leek soup, breadfish, confit duck, a pasta with roasted artichokes. However, they do have a truffle risotto. I'm going to have the quiche. Steve is going to have a hamburger again. As I said, neither one of us are thrilled with the main courses, the plots. A very tiny piece of quiche with some salad. I'm glad I ordered two items. This is the, tr the ris truffle risotto. That is pear and almond. Chocolate mousse. They change up the cheeses at every meal which are always wonderful. If I was smart, I would just stick to cheese and never mind the other desserts. The big one is a Saint Honoré, and this is some kind of a chocolate tart with sort of a moussey custard filling. I'm going to try them both, for sure. I know I'm going to eat this little caramelized cream puff that I like. This is David and Steve's plain ordinary chocolate ice cream. I'm not a big custard whipped cream person. Those little cream puffs that were on the top all caramelized were the best. I'd like to just pick them off the rest. Two different servers brought Steve ice cream. They didn't coordinate. I stole another one of the caramelized cream puffs. Those are so good. And I'm gonna, and I'm going to eat some of the fromage. It is tea time. Macaroons. There is pistachio, caramel, cassis or black currant, and chocolate. And the soup. And the soup tonight is creamy mushroom. That looks like a floating island again. It was. It's a floating island with orange. They have veal filet. I hadn't seen that before. I was going to have the roast chicken. But I just had and I'm going to have the lukewarm scallops. Don't those scallops look wonderful with caviar on top? Tonight's dinner makes up for some of the others that I was not too ecstatic about. The veal tenderloin 
cuts like butter and is so delicious. My dessert choices to attempt. I really like their floating islands and I have never been a floating island person. My opinion only, we're on a French cruise line and you would think the, the croissants would be absolutely wonderful. They're not. They're not flaky at all. Breakfast ag array. Fortunately, desserts at the other meals make up for it. Why do I always, this is apple and cucumber, but they, the color is always so off-putting for me in the breakfast. Lunch today, no to sardines, but an Indian lamb curry with rice sounds very yummy. Also grilled vegetable lasagna and shrimp teppanaki. Corn chowder. Greek salad, um, Waldorf salad, orzo pasta salad. They have smoked fish every single day. I personally do not care for smoked fish. Um, Milfu puff pastry, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. And back, way back there, strawberry eclair. A flan that looks like the Spanish cheesecake. They call it a Parisian, Parisian flan, but it looks like the Spanish cheesecake. Peach tiramisu. They had an interesting green cereal bread up there. Lamb curry. It smells good. It's been a while since I've had anything Indian. Enough. And that is the shrimp teppanyaki, which looks nothing like what I thought it would look like. <clears throat> we most definitely have lost in translation on this particular dish. To me, shrimp teppanyaki is where they sear it on the open, like, grills, and, it's, and then it's chopped up. This tastes like a dish of Chinese shrimp with vegetables. It's delicious, I'm not complaining. Tonight is Iberian ham. There's a mushroom cold soup. Oh, and his red quinoa, avocado, and citrus, which I'm sure is absolutely delicious. That's honey and muesli, homemade yogurt. Basically what I ate for breakfast. That is a black currant and vanilla puff pastry. And it looks amazing. It's revisited Snickers. Sorry, you should have half eaten crab cake. It was on the menu in the gastronomique restaurant, but I asked if we could possibly get a crab cake down here. They're so obliging. No problem. Wee oui, wee. Oui. We are both doing the veal tenderloin filet with truffle butter, and I've got mashed potatoes with mine, and Steve has a whopping huge baked potato with sour cream. Today is my waffle day, and we'll see what that tastes like. Dump lots of fruit on it, like Sue. Today for lunch is sweet and sour soup, starter buffet, quiche. I was not thrilled with their quiche the other day. I make a better quiche. Sorry about that, chef. Then there's monkfish medallions with a coconut curry sauce. Their sauces are not uh, spicy enough. Filipino pork adobo, vegetable spring spring rolls, and bow bun Vietnamese with chicken, and desserts. There's a chocolate eclair that's up Steve's alley, a chocolate tart, crumble fruits, and a peach tart. Tonight is the gala dinner. We just have today and tomorrow on board the ship, and of course, it's with a captain and an aperitif, which means dinner will not begin until 8 p.m. And once again, we're not going to eat in the Dago Station or Gastronomique because they will be serving everybody each plot at the same time. Sweet and sour soup. Bubbling.
to potatoes, beans, radish, pistou sauce. In other words, a potato salad. Salmon and herbs. Small spelt pumpkin, broccoli, and candied lemon. The buffets have not been my all-time favorites for lunch, which is perfectly okay. Salmon carpaccio. And here we have another of Steve's favorites, which is a chocolate eclair. What else? A uh, fruit crumble. That looks rather tasty. Cream puff, in other words. And back there is a chocolate tart. Let's see. I can't get it. Good. Here we go. Chocolate. And this will give you an idea of the cheeses for today. I'm going to try the muscadet. Vermicelli pasta. It's a vermicelli pasta. I'm going to try it. I don't know what I was envisioning. Maybe something like a banh mai. But it's most attractive. And there are the spring rolls. It's in a broth. It is not to my taste. Spring rolls were very tasty, but every day I say to myself, you know what? I am just going to order a plain ordinary hamburger instead of going for all the, the gourmand or gourmet type plots. And every day I look at them all and I think, oh, this really sounds good and interesting. And then I order it and it's very tasteless. I think if I had to pick one all-time favorite on board a cruise ship, it would be pâté de foie gras. Tonight, this is it. They're serving smoked salmon sandwiches, thank goodness, because dinner won't begin until at least 8 o'clock. A few desserts tonight. This massive chocolate, whatever, chocolate and praline Ponant sales. As you can see, there are other people beside us who don't feel like waiting for 150 people to finish an appetizer before they get their next course. And here is veal tenderloin, or veal steak as they refer to it, on a bed of spinach and mushrooms. We were underwhelmed by dinner. We ate it because we're hungry. But it was nothing gala about it. One last shark Cartier video, dinner video. That is obviously a brownie. One of these is a bit, oh, that's the Belle Helene pear. Pear with chocolate sauce on it. That must be the pavlova with meringues. There's more creme caramel. They have this gorgeous seared tuna with sesame, lemon, and herb mustard condiment. And right next to it, grilled vegetables, black olives, and tapenade. This is a chilled cucumber soup. It's also a pumpkin soup. It doesn't get much better than this, sitting outside and looking at a site like that. Gourmet once a day at dinner is more than enough for me. Gorgeous roasted vegetables and the seared tuna. The lamb loin is a million times better than the veal steak was from last night for the gala dinner was terrible. And my second plot, beef cannelloni with olives.